All right, we're just going to do a quick live stream here. Just working on a little bit of a project. Join in in the super chat if you want to. And uh, let's uh, work on a project here. Just uh, getting things set up here. Kind of need to do that. Let's see. So I can watch in the chat. All right, looks like we got a person in there. Say hello in the chat. If you would, I'm working on a uh, future project here, and I uh, just thought I'd uh, just start up the live stream and watch. We're just I'm polishing some parts here, and uh, just getting going. I'm also I was filming, but I'm charging my camera right now because uh, it's uh, battery was dead, so. And plus, this is the part that uh, is kind of boring for watching on stream here. Kind of got this part done. I'll set this off to the side here. I'll get to the next part here. I don't need to polish a lot on this part, but uh, feel free to open up a dialogue in the chat. I'll be reading it as we go along here. So... Uh, Welcome everybody and um, support during the live stream if you'd like. Helps me uh, along to make more videos and things and uh, I really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and work. You're going to um, hear some noise here, so uh, rip headphone users, but uh, here we go. Try not to get too much of this junk up, sprayed up towards the camera, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. Just doing a little polish into this project. Um, as I sprayed it with a uh, black uh, catalyzed paint, which has a hardener in it. And just taking out a little bit of the orange peel here. I got to be careful because I don't want to uh, burn through it, which is real easy to do. And black paint's real hard to make look really good here. But appreciate you joining in. Feel free to say something in the chat. Feel free to donate through the super chat. Although you don't have to do that, just hit like and share this out if you like watching the video. I'll answer any questions uh, you may have uh, live. That's kind of why I do these things here. Hopefully I'm not blowing out your speakers here. I should be using a lav, lav mic or a lapel mic for stuff like this and you wouldn't pick up as much of the sound, but uh, Trying to work on it where you can still see what I'm doing here. I only need to work the back half of this because this is all you're going to see because the cab and there's a sleeper that goes on this part. So we only need to go back to these little holes here and make it nice and shiny so when the trailer's not on it, it looks real shiny. We're just getting going here. If you just joined in, I'm just, this is just a random live stream. I've opened up and we're just working on a project, working on a future project for a video. And I'm doing, this is some of the more mundane things. Um, that doesn't trans uh, transfer well onto video, although I did get some video of this. So you'll see what I'm doing in a future project. So I appreciate it if you'd subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications. Um, it's just a random live stream. Thought I'd do. I know some people like uh, like watching this stuff and 
Oh, I do answer anything in the chat uh, if you'd like. So please do that. If you're watching this archived, well, I thank you very much. Um, some water down here. We'll get this. Uh, see how well we're doing here. Got a few people uh, watching. Oh, that looks really nice. It's uh, shine that up really good there, actually. Anytime you paint something, there's always an opportunity for a little bit of orange peel. This wasn't too bad, but uh, I just wanted as shiny as I possibly well can get and as smooth because when I put the clear on, any little imperfections are going to are going to show up. And uh, while I'm not an expert at this by any stretch of the imagination, I do like to do as good a job as I possibly can with this stuff. Uh, what's the vehicle I'm working on? Uh, this is a uh, a Nylent uh, semi truck, tractor trailer. Um, I picked up for like ten dollars and uh, it was pretty rusty and the paint was falling off and everything. And I'm getting close to being done. This will be a video, uh, a video project, just like all my other stuff. So you'll see it up on the channel when I when I get it completely done. Doing a custom job on it actually, but um, I'm buffing up some of the paint. Uh, I've already done done this. You kind of missed that, but. Um, just taking out some orange peel, maybe if any dust or debris kind of got on it while it was uh, curing, taking that out and uh, just making it as smooth as I can. But yeah, this was manufactured by Nylant. This is something from like the late 70s but or maybe early 80s. They made this model for a long time so um, until they went out of business, but in the 90s. But I'm just... Uh, Cleaning her up here, trying to see how well I how well I'm doing here. Again, like I said, not a not an expert, but um, I like to do my best work, and hopefully it inspires others to try and maybe do better than I did. Um, but yeah, I'll have a full video on this, and so far it's turning out this is going to be a long uh, vid video uh, of the full restoration. I mean, there's a lot I'm doing here. I got some custom other customizations I want to do to it. So uh, so similar to Tonka, yes, Nylant was a, uh, has been around just as long. Well, actually, Nylant's been around longer than actually Tonka. Um, it's more on the lines of like Structo as far as how long uh, they were until they, of course, uh, went out of business. But um, yeah, it's it's basically a rival to Tonka, although I would, I would say Nylant toys in general, are way more detailed, and they actually look a lot, lot closer or more like the real thing that they're emulating. Whereas Tonka has its own style, which is its own style, and they look good too. But uh, a lot of their only a few of their real models over the years ever really look like the real thing. Whereas uh, Nylant tried to emulate real equipment. Um, they even licensed some uh, as well. Uh, design so like you know with Ford and stuff like that so they look like the appropriate area era vehicles and um, got that all cleaned up man that's I don't know probably doesn't show on camera very well this camera here but uh, you can see it's pretty shiny that looks really good I mean there is one blemish there that that you can't really see but uh, um, considering the trailer is going to be sitting on this most of the time, I'm not going to worry about that so much. Um, some of the metal was pitted, and I tried to fill it best I can, and looks like I missed just a teensy spot. I mean, only I know it's there. But, uh, all right, that looks pretty good. Um, I don't need to really, well, I don't really need to do these side rails. 
because things attach there, so you're not going to really see it. I'm going to try to eliminate, but you would see this when it's uh, when it's running bobtail. So um, put that off to the side. Work on okay. The large part here's the here's the trailer, and there's a lot of real estate to work with here. It's actually this got sprayed quite well, so there's very little little work I need to really do on this one. I got the truck and trailer, yes, for ten for ten dollars. But that said, it was really really rusty. It'd been laying. It looked like it'd been laying on its side in a probably a, bin, a toy bin of, of some of some sort uh, for uh, for a long time because it I don't remember which side it was but uh, just rust and there's there was decals on, a decal on here it was falling off and it was down to bare metal so um, and when you see if you're not subscribed if you are a subscriber I appreciate it but if you're not subscribed, subscribe because you'll want to see the before. I got lots of before video of this, and you'll see what I mean on it. So put a little bit of I'm just using a real medium cut uh, polishing comment because honestly, I don't um, I don't need to do a lot of cutting with this. So um, okay. Uh, good, you're subscribed. Um, make sure you're um, hitting that bell so YouTube lets you know uh, that you want to see my next video. And you'll see, um, you know, this one is probably still going to take me a while because I have some graphics to do on this here um, and some other little neat tricks that I'm not going to explain right now. You'll have to wait for the full video or and I will... Later, I will link it in a card. Um, later, when uh, the video is live, so anybody finding this live stream uh, uh, archive, they can uh, they can watch it. And I probably should be using a little bit larger wheel here for this a lot of real estate here, but uh, this is what I have for the smaller stuff. I mean, I have a big I have a big polisher for like automotive stuff, but it's too big for this. So, you're into the more uh, 164 scale stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I do a little bit of that, but you know what? There's some guys that definitely do that stuff better than me already on YouTube. And I got a couple of those. I got a couple of things. Some matchbox customs and hot wheels customs i want to do there's some neat different models that i i haven't seen or if i have these are there's a specific story that i'm doing with it so i need to change my battery here pretty soon and what i'm seeing here I'll try to stay away from these edges so I can not burn the paint. Just get all the flat spots as best I can. And this is what you're going to see. That's what brought me to... Okay, well, good. Well, my channel, that's one thing. I'm not very focused, which I know is a bad thing if you want... Uh, you want to get good views and stuff all the time is uh oh, out of battery I'll pop that on the charger and we'll get another one out of here i got plenty okay plenty of battery but yeah um because i do motorcycle stuff i do this kind of stuff i do model building um uh, and and there's some uh, some plastic models that, that I want to do um, custom stuff. I'm just that I'm really not sure how to properly uh, present it. Uh, 
my share out of property present it so it's engaging and not boring, but I still show a lot of tips and tricks and of the process. Too far in. Okay. Let's see. Let's I'll have to wash this out, dig all that out before I get the clear on here. But let's see how we're doing. So hopefully, I didn't burn the paint anywhere. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's a lot better. I can already tell, and I ain't even got it all wiped off yet. Yeah, there was just a little bit of. Oh, I don't know. I don't have ideal conditions for um, uh, for paint booth and uh, oops I gotta get it in right. there. oh wow that really looks nice I mean it probably doesn't show up on camera and that's a problem especially with black camera can't uh, Roy Burns, first time on my channel. Well, welcome, first timer. Um, hopefully, this isn't too boring for you. Um, well, I'm just working on something. I don't always just pop the live stream up, but this I decidedly decided to randomly start up. Thought people would like to watch me work on something live. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, you know, if you want me to do this more. Um, Hit that like button. You can support by a super chat. You can donate as little as a dollar, and every little bit helps me. And uh, something, got a little bit of something on the back here. Oh, just a, I don't know what that was, but must be a little bit of dirt. Get a little bit of this junk out of the there but uh, oh yeah okay well that's of course we'll do a do a tack cloth before I get going here before I end up painting but uh, yeah I like that yeah don't forget to support uh, uh, yeah, many of you want to see process. Yeah, I like to, too. Of course, you know, you show it all, the video gets long and kind of boring, so um, that's why I, I show an abbreviated or time-lapse kind of deal. And then that's why I do some of this, and then I link to it so people can go find... Oh, I like that. Um, there's a little bit more work to do. Yeah, can't really see it all. I don't know what happened there. Huh. Mm. Must have got something there. Eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, live chats are. Yeah, that's why I do them. Actually, I, I live streamed last night too of a different project, different thing um, that I was working on. It's archived. You can go watch it um, as well. But. Uh, That looks looks pretty good, although I'm going to I'll run over it just a little bit more. I see I got a ladder attic in here in these little spots here. So what other channels do you guys watch that are in here uh, watching right now? I would, uh, I'm guessing you probably bare metal Hot Wheels and that kind of stuff you probably watch. And hopefully you found me because of him. That'd be nice. Means that YouTube's doing its job and, and recommending content, you know, similar to things you, are, you already watch and like. And that's the, that's sort of the point.
But yeah, I, I will put some of this in the final video, of course, but uh, not all of it because you're not going to even see all of doing this because it's just going to take a long time. This is the, this is the tedious work that, uh, that nobody really appreciates, but they happen to find in the video, they find the one little thing that's like, oh, you didn't do this or you didn't do that, or you could have done this and you could have done that, and they just don't realize the type of work. A, to put it, put in some bit, the time to make a video, you know, and this just doesn't happen. So, but I get it. It's easy to be a viewer, not do the work, I know. But I hope this inspires others to do it, so. Tonka restoration. Actually, Roy, this is a... This is a Nylint, uh, not a Tonka. Kind of Tonka's competition. Honestly, I think Nylint kind of built, built them a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, they're a little more true-to-life, more realistic uh, models. Um, had a lot of action. Some of the Tonkas are not as uh, not as fully featured as, say, a Nylint toy, depending on what you're looking at. Okay, that's probably good. Let's uh, swipe that off. Let's see, that probably, that might have evened it up. I didn't get an even polish on it. Uh, seemed to be sitting on our side, some construction. Um, yeah, kinda. Um, you know, actually, Tonkas of this era were a little bit smaller in their their uh, thing. Uh, on my channel, I, I have I have Structo, I have Nylant, um, all the toys that I grew up with. They're they're my old toys, and they're also my dad's old toys. So, and they're getting passed down to my son. Like I said, this one I actually bought, um, which is pretty rare. I usually don't buy. Are the parts in interchangeable? No. With Tonka? No, they are not. They're they're totally different. Um, um, but for example, um, you'll see this in the finished video. But I mean, this is the grill um, to this, which it had some chroming. It was completely the chrome was all off of it. And actually, this isn't exactly what it's going to look like at the end. Um, these are holes I drilled for a reason, which I'm not going to tell. But, um, you know, uh, Tonka sometimes didn't have that much detail to them. I mean, yes, that's a plastic piece um, on, on this particular model, but a lot of times that'll be, that'll be stamped. So, um, yeah, I, yeah there, there's things I wish I still had, but I have most everything because uh, we just don't give a lot of way. Um, like I said, I restore on my channel, I restore motorcycles. Um, I've done some car restorations too, but that was long before there was the internet to share it on. So, and I, and some of that stuff is made a couple of stuff that's on VHS. Um, and it's just, I can't, can't get around to it, but I need to, to, um, to convert it and put it up on YouTube. Now, granted, I didn't have back then didn't have a computer for editing software, so it was done the old, old-fashioned way, done either in camera or using the two VCR method. Um, looks like a Mac grill. Yeah, it, that's kind of what I thought. It's it's kind of a style between a Mac, uh, about a kind of a Mac, but uh, it does have some other. Um, and it kind of has a little bit of a style of a uh, uh, Ford um, L series or the Louisville a little bit too um, series of trucks, which um, I have. I have uh, one. I have a. It's an '85 uh, uh, L L or LN LN the short short hood LN 9000. You know, class eight truck, uh, grain truck. Because uh, well, that's that's. Something I grew up, I, and then I got some semi trucks. I got I built models uh, repli rep replicating these as well. So uh, 
Um, you can see those on my website. I got pictures of that kind of stuff, Kenworths and, and that stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I, uh, I ride motorcycles. Uh, like I said, I, I drive, I, I can drive semi trucks and medium duty trucks. I got on and farm equipment and I got some farming videos. The channel's pretty eclectic. So you came here because of the restoration, but you might find some other stuff you like. And like I said, I don't have the link in the description, but uh, it's the Junkman ADV for adventure, ADV.com. And you can find my blog. You can find individual pro pages about different other projects I've done the last, uh, gosh, we're coming up on 15 years I've been on YouTube. Um, and then other things. Okay, probably can't see it very well, but that looks pretty good. Uh, in the camera. Of course, I got to do the sides here. So, I'll, uh, let's uh, lay it down here. Oh, and I got to build some landing gear too. And the uh, well, I'll give you guys a sneak peek here. Uh, is uh, the rear door on this? Well, I have the old parts to it. This was all that. Of course, I've cut something out of it. This was all that was left to the rear of the rear door, but um, and you'll see how I do this, how I did this in the real video. But uh, I remade the door uh, in a more realistic fashion. So uh, you'll see a full, basically a full tutorial on how how to do that, how I did that. Um, again, this restoration video, when this truck, when I release it, is going to probably uh, end up being. Um, Gosh, like I'm probably close to 20 minutes long. I don't know if a lot of people are going to sit through that. But uh, anyway, that's that's what it'll be. And this side almost doesn't need like it. See, the sides of the trailer sprayed really well. The top didn't for as much. Uh, that was good. Plus, I'm going to mask and put some graphics on this too. So, I don't know. I guess... Let's see how that's, uh, uh, let's see, <clears throat> you can do a lot of sword and dagger, ah, see, that's, that's, I mean, that's cool, but that's just not something I'm really into, um, but that's, that's cool, people who can make that, make those items, and re, um, or restore them, yeah, just like people who do firearms, um, I do, I do shoot guns and own guns and things like that, but um, I'm not into restoring old things. You know, I like to target practice, clay shoot, stuff of that nature. But uh, af after that, um, that's where my interest kind of ends. Uh, you know, um, that looks pretty good. I don't know. I need to even do these sides. Let's take a look at the front. I know the top needed it for sure. Runs pretty good too. It could use a little bit of a, it could use a little bit of work. You're not gonna be able to see that. Uh, am I in the U.S.? I am in the U.S. Uh, are you? Where are you from? What country? Um, oh, hello from Spain. Thanks for joining me. Hey, don't forget the super chat. Little dollar sign down there. You can donate as little as a dollar. It helps me immensely with the channel, mostly with equipment and getting tools and everything. Any anything you donate goes directly back into the channel and for making uh, making videos. So uh, you don't have to do that. You never have to do. Give it a like. Give this a like. Uh, go view my other videos. Give them a like. Share them around. I really appreciate it. But. Um, the super chat is a way you can uh, express your thanks monetarily and uh, help me make more content if you like what I'm doing here, you know. in Canada. Okay, all right. You're just you're just to the north, neighbor to the north. I've um 
I've been near Canada. I haven't been to Canada yet. Uh, I would like to uh, go skiing in British Columbia some, sometime. Oops. My buffer's falling off. Must not have tightened it enough. But, uh, yeah, neat. What if you could? Well, I think uh, YouTube uh, allows you to do it in the in the Canadian rupee or whatever here, <laughs> the Canadian dollar. I'm making a joke, bad one, but uh, I think it accepts other currencies. But you don't have to do that. Just just commenting on the video, chatting with me while I do these. I love the interaction; helps a lot too. So no no worries there. I strongly suggest you check out my website, though, because I think you'll enjoy, all of you will enjoy, um, enjoy the pictures and stuff of other restorations. Now, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing here, because I have to set, put this on end, but uh, let's see. trying to decide how long to run this stream oh you're not employed well that's okay hey like i said just viewing and liking this video and sharing it with your friends saying hey i found this new channel why don't you check it out sharing it around the internet hey that's support enough i i you know uh, sporting via super chat is great um but you know what i almost the interaction and the comments I like um, I like actually even even better because I'm not in this for the money. I just use any money that might be donated um, to put back into the channel. So um, for for making content. So I uh, just wanted everybody to be aware of that. So like I said, may sound like I'm e begging a little, um, but I, I just don't know if people are aware of that uh, aware of that fact that even even with other channels, not even just me. Um, you know, when you donate to them, other channels, especially channels you like, it's, it's almost always, uh, if they're in good faith, they're, uh, it's going back into the channel either with new, get new cameras and, and all that stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Even if you have no money to give your eyeballs, your viewing, um, watching, watching an ad roll that helps, that's how that helped. And this is in, this is in general, I'm talking not I mean, it helps me, but just in general, it helps. It helps. Um, it helps YouTubers you like. Out. So yeah, if you if you can't, you know, if you can't support monetarily, and you know what? Um, oh, there's a son-in-law quote in the movie somewhere. Something about buffering. Oh, buff the wood. Come on, buff the wood, buff, 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 buff the wood, yeah. Well, this isn't wood. Wait a minute. I'm being pedantic now. See, this is the part, me and my moderator there, uh, we were talking about this. I'm not very funny on camera. Actually, I don't try to be, but for whatever reason, I, I'm not very funny. I'm usually more funny live and in person, and I try to be like that on, on, cam uh, on these live streams. But, uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, so I kind of I kind of failed. I missed your I missed your cue there, uh, Miss Moderator. But uh, <laughs> um, so anyway, we getting a good stream, good audio. How about that uh, for everybody out there? Um, wow, that is really slick. Gosh, see, I'm impressed myself sometimes. <laughs> see, I'm no expert at this, um, but man. And I'm kind of watching the preview here. I know there's a little bit of a lag time, but yeah, it looks looks pretty shiny in the in the camera there. So I am going to yeah, let's see. Let's wipe that off there. And I think okay. I wasn't gonna do it because I still got a mask and put some graphics on this. I'm not sure. I think it's gonna go like this, kind of a hockey stripe type thing. 
There you go, Canada. Ho I mentioned hockey. It's like your main pastime up there, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. But uh, hopefully we get something going here. Yeah, I guess I'll... Wasn't going to do it, but I'll uh, work on this. That's probably, probably too much goop. Let's see. I might... I'm almost needing a new uh, new wheel here. It's getting a little, you know, a little ratty, but whatever. It'll okay. Try to stay away from these edges. away from the edges because that's a good way to burn the paint. I know I've said it before. Yeah, you can moderate or you can accept that comment there, uh, moderator. Oh. Oops. Yeah, well, I used to race motocross, so I know all about that old body failing kind of thing. Kind of hard because I got a got the camera right here in my way, kind of uh, to work this. But uh, quite um, and that round bacon, oh Canadian bacon, yeah. Well, I I imagine that's uh, that's an, a uniquely American thing, <laughs> Canadian bacon. But I guess I don't know. Uh, have I tried? Farracleta products. Um, I'm not sure what those are, so no. No, I haven't. Um, I, assu I assume it's buffing compound. I'm using Meguiar's here. Um, I've, just, I've been using Meguiar's stuff ever since I, well, ever since I started driving back when I was like 14. So, uh, you know, the, to uh polish my car and, and, and all that stuff. So no, I haven't. I'm not familiar with it. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Of course, I'm going to do another polishing step after I put the clear on, but I'll be using a wool bonnet for that. This is, I'm, I'm actually trying to cut with this, so let's see how this looks here. And we're coming along here. Oh, and poutine. Yeah, well, I, well, I don't know actual poutine but I've ma I made that here or you know following a recipe online I like poutine or um, basically just more or less fries with gravy but uh, as what I understand at least that's but uh, uh, well yeah I can't have the cheese but um, I can have my fake cheese. There, there's a reason behind that. I'm not gonna. I guess I won't get into it. Moderator can talk about it um, if she wants. But uh... okay, I'm glad I did that. Just you know what? There's just a te There wasn't much, honestly, but there's just a teensy bit of orange peel, and um, I wasn't gonna mess with it because honestly, I was when I polish that should all uh, come out, but. Uh, because I still got to do the graphics and stuff, but actually, I'm glad I did that. It's a little better. Uh, 
Yeah, um, you know, I, I know there's there's um, other other products. Um, you know, Meguiar's is is owned by 3M now. I do use a rubbing compound. This is too heavy for what I'm doing, but I had it over here, uh, thinking thinking I was going to need to. But otherwise, uh, you know, I I've painted a many a many a vehicle uh, in my time, uh, my own stuff. I don't I don't do it by trade. But uh, and uh, always use Meguiar's uh, stuff in in any prep uh, or after post paint, you know, get that polish up. Um, but uh, I've heard mothers and stuff is just as good, so it's whatever. As long as it gets the job done, I don't. I'm not really. I don't really care, <laughs> you know. I know there's the chemical guys. They they make some good stuff, so. Uh, cheeseless poutine is just wrong. Well, I can have it, but just not with real cheese. I gotta have, I gotta use a fake cheese because I, um, I'm allergic to the dairies and protein. I'm, geez, I'm letting it all go today. Um, you're learning all, you're learning a bunch of new things about me. Okay. I need to get a clean rag, a clean rag here. One thing. I guess have a bunch of t-shirt rags here. Yeah, okay. Just want to attack all that. All right, I. Wow, that's super slick. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. It probably doesn't. Uh, no, it's not soy. Uh, no, those taste terrible. I mean, there are versions. No, it's plant based. Um, but it's not soy. Um, yeah, that's gonna work good. I guess I better do the other side now. I didn't think I was gonna need to, but uh, but I'll do that. Okay, we won't put as much on here. But uh, yeah, I've uh, I'm gonna. I just don't always have enough time, but I want to make a, a painting video or um, about at least, I mean, you've seen it and saw it, I think, in my grader video and my forklift video. Um, I, uh, I showed the setup I use. It's, it, it's, it's 3M's uh, PPS system, and the way I, reason I like it is... It's real. I, I like the cleanup aspect of it. It's real easy for cleaning up. Um, and for small projects here. Um, but I want to make a dedicated video just about that because I have gotten questions about it. Um, and uh, that that tells me I ought to I ought to make a video explaining it. Uh, Yeah, and just because it's all greeny weeny plant based, um, yeah, I'm not a vegan or none of that junk. Um, no offense if you are, and that's your choice. That's fine. Um, no, it's just because I am allergic to the proteins in dairy, so I can't have dairy stuff. Uh, so this, so really, that limits the cheese and, and milk stuff. I mean, and it keeps me away from processed foods because a lot of that has has dairy in it because they use that as a binding agent, but anyway, that's probably a little too much, but, uh, you know, that's why, but anyway, going back to the poutine, um, yeah, I can just use that as a, as a, um, substitute, I feel, and, uh, I guess because I can't have the real cheese, I don't know that I'm missing anything, but, uh, I'm a pretty eclectic in my, uh, in my tastes. I really like Vietnamese, you know, finding some good, good pho is really good. Hopefully, hopefully you can, you have some good pho restaurants in uh, Canada there. I'm sure you do, probably more on the eastern end of that country, I'm guessing. All right. 
call that good. That, that other side didn't need much, so uh, didn't need much of a polish. So we'll see what this one looks like. Yeah, this is that's about right too. Yeah, I did. A, that's the thing. If you do your prep right and spray spray your paint right, you don't have to do do a lot of a lot of um, uh, clean up or do this as much of this step, you know, and honestly, as it looked good enough that really, because this is a toy that's going to get played with and it's going to get, it's just going to get scratched up, dented up, dirty. Well, I mean, us and such, cause I'm going to give this to my son when, when it's, when it's done and it's going to go straight into the end of the dirt pile. Probably. I mean, he'll play with it inside, but it's going to get dirty. It's going to get rained on. It's going to get left out. So, um, and the joy is a watching him play with it, but I'm having a heck of a lot of fun um, restoring it here. And for some reason, all right. Real good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a Thai fan as well. Uh, yep, spicier the better. Um, all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, dang, what did I get on there? Yeah, more heat the better. Um, I do grow peppers in my garden, uh, not ghost. Um, I would just buy those. There's other people that grow those better, but uh, I like to do that. Uh, but, uh, all right. Huh. Oh. oh. Oh, I accidentally got a little bit of adhesive or something there. Let me hold on. I got. Oh, here it is. Oh, my. Yeah, the Carolina Reaper. Um, I have a few hot sauces that use that as the base. Oh, there we go. Gets that off there. Just accidentally got something in the. Embedded in my buff buffer there. Okay. Ah, that looks like. All right, that looks like I pretty much got it. Um, Correction there. I'll have to. Yeah. Okay. Something there. I don't know. Something must have been on my workbench. Should have watched it a little bit better. But anyway. Yeah. There. I'll do some, do some hand polish in there. Yeah, I like, uh, yeah, I like, I like something that has flavor. You know, that's why I'm really not a jalapeno fan. Not because I think they're hot or anything, but they just, they just, they don't have, they don't have a flavor, you know. Um, you know, habaneros, you know, they have a, they have a flavor to them, you know. So.
certain times you gotta take do just a little bit of hand work here, get next to these edges and stuff. Let's see how that works. but a little imperfection, but that, uh, just a little bit of handwork took that out. See, it's all in the details here, <laughs> but, uh, all right, for you guys, I see there's a few more people popping in here, so if you're new, uh, this is just a random live stream. I didn't plan this. I just, uh, set up my camera and put in a few details and Said, uh, go, let's go streaming. I'm just working on this is this will be a future future video, something for a future video here. I'm not gonna give too many de details away, but you guys are getting a kind of a bit of an insider's uh, insider's look here at uh, at uh, what goes into it. Okay, that's right. I need to. But uh, don't forget to support via Super Chat, the little dollar sign down there. It helps me make more videos, upgrade my equipment, and all that, so I can bring more, more of this kind of content uh, if you like it, you know. Um, anything you donate goes right back to the channel. I know I sound like a broken record if you've been in this, um, but i got to remind people because not everybody knows you can do that. Not everybody understands it. Um, so, and it's okay if you don't want, if you don't have money, don't, don't feel like it. Don't have to. Just watching um, and sharing and liking the video is uh, gives enough support. Okay. I don't know. Shoot, I might have to respray that little spot there. Oh, dang it. Oh, see, see that shows not everything goes just as planned. Everything else on this thing looks just perfect, and then I have one little spot up here. And it's possible I may just leave it, and uh, somebody will comment in the comments on the final video, and they'll be like, "Ah, oh, why does that little spot?" And you know, that's what they'll do. I don't know what it is. Something must have got under the paint there, or whatever. It's not. I mean, it's not rust. I don't know. Maybe it'll come off after I let it set a little bit here. But uh, how did you get here? Hand Tool Rescue. So uh, I assume by your channel name, you restore hand tools. Now that's pretty cool. If that is what you do. <laughs> um, that's something I would be interested in. So I might have to go check that out. But... Uh... Well, I don't know how you got here, but maybe you saw it, saw it in a recommended feed, which is which is good. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's try a little bit more. Just using a little rubbing alcohol. Like I said, this thing must have must have been on my polisher or something. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's getting it. I don't know. Maybe I need to try some goo gone. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. It might be a little hard. Um, what I'm working on here. Maybe it's not even in focus. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's more, more or less gone. Okay. Eh. Just need a little work on it, I guess, here. And for you guys new joining in, if you're wondering what the heck I'm working on, this is a uh, Nylent semi-tractor trailer or semi-truck um, from, the, from the 
mid to late 70s to the early 80s. They made this model for quite a long time, I think. Um, it's got many parts to it, and I'm working on the trailer right now. I was working on all the other parts earlier in the stream. But, uh, um, yeah, I use Gooby Gone. Um, yeah, I might have to do that. Actually, actually, I pretty much, actually, that took it up. I don't know. It must have been on my wheel. That's why I probably should have bought a brand new one before starting this. And I wonder, or I wonder if it got, I don't know. It's, it's gone now. So that's good. Um, all right. That looks really good. I just finished respraying the sleeper part, um, the sleeper part. Um, because, uh, uh, there was a, after I got done spraying it, there was a couple in, imperfections that it, it appears I missed. So, um, I ended up respraying it. So it's, uh, it is curing. So I won't be able to do this part on it, um. For a while but uh boy it's really smooth i don't know hopefully you guys can kind of kind of see that um you know maybe sort of see my reflection i mean it's it's still um you know a little duller than it will normally be because the clear the clear is going to add some depth to it but uh i like that okay well i need to get the cab now Okay, and here's the top of the cab. That ain't going to take very long to do. But since I have some viewers in here, and you guys are probably wondering, here's one of my um, older restorations I uh, did a couple years ago. It's on my channel, and uh, my son's been playing with it, so you see there's a few scrapes and scratches, and it's dirty. But uh, this was, uh, I had to do quite a bit of body work because it was like smashed in on this side. It honestly looked like if in real life it hit a deer. So it was all caved in here, and so was that, and then it was kind of buckled over. These aren't the right wheels or whatever. Um, it's got a little tow truck here, but uh, this is made by Structo, obviously. This is one I did in the past, and like I said, as, as you can see, it's uh, been played. It's after it's been played with. So this is about two years worth of playing in, in and out of the dirt. And stuff and my son loves it I loved it my dad loved it this is a third generation toy so uh, yeah polishing by hand is better and I prefer it uh, but I had a lot of real estate there so um so I you know that's why I was gonna do that um, and this I could probably polish by hand but when you got a lot of real estate to do it just goes a little faster here and like that, this is going to be not take too long. What I'm mainly doing the top of it, going to do top of the cab because that's the most flat area, and then I'll do the sides a little bit. But but there is a uh, well, what it would that shows you how old of kind of truck this is replicating is. Uh, it has like what is like an old water cooler. I'll show it to you here in a minute once I get this done. And this had a big old dent in the top. Uh, gosh, I can't even tell where it was. I think it was over over here. Like it it was kind of mashed in and I had to straighten it and um, can't can't even tell. Can't even tell it was uh, without anything uh, done to it so probably enough there let's okay that's probably all that one needs it's uh yeah, this really didn't need much of anything. Such a small part. 
but uh, yeah. There we go. Of course, I'll have to, before we get doing the rest of it, uh, I'll have to tack, tack cloth it all off and use a little bit of oil and grease remover because my, you know, my hands were touching it and stuff. Uh, before I want to paint the clear, well, first I got to paint the graphics. I'm going to come up with some graphics. Uh, I already got an idea, but I'm not going to let you know. You have to wait for the finished video for that. But uh, yeah, um, okay, it's still still wet. I need to get a dry dryer cloth here, and then I'll I'll let you look at it and see if you can see if you can oh, I can point out or see if we can see the damp. Um, where it was. Okay. All right. Uh, there it is. Oh, you know what? I think the dent was over here. Maybe, just maybe, but it's almost not I don't think it's I don't think it's noticeable at all but anyway and and uh, I actually have already modified this but it has a little water cooler and uh, this is gonna get re redone um, I got I got a little trick and something I'm gonna do with it I won't let you know but that's kind of what it'll look sort of look like on top there just a little bit of detail. Um, of course, it's got an interior. We're going to do a little bit of customization there. The windshield, I'll just show you here. It's in great shape. It's dirty. Don't worry. Um, but there's no cracks or anything. I'll just polish it up kind of nice. So, um, and for you, those of you just joining in here, um, there's kind of, I'm not going to stick it in there because you got to kind of bend the tabs a little bit to. To, to spring them in there but to, you know there's kind of the there's there's kind of the, the profile you know and what it what it would look like and then that windshield in there so um, yeah um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it I mean um, do I use microfiber towels a little bit um, let's see I got uh, well for certain things, that's a lens cleaning cloth. Um, I can't I can't open my drawer that much because I got the camera in the way here. Um, so that's just my safety stuff. Yeah, I, I do. I just can't get to it right now. Um, these are just t-shirt rags for doing this um, um, kind of thing because I'm not just throw them away. I have I have 50 pounds of these things, uh, so you know I don't have to keep them. Um, but, I don't know, I think that's about all I can get done or show you today without, without getting into anything. You know what, um, for you guys that are in here, would you guys um, light up the chat if you guys would like to um, see a couple of other things that I have on the, on, the, on the docket to restore sometime in the future if you want a little sneak peek. Tell me in the chat. I'll give you a couple minutes because I know there's, or uh, not minutes, but seconds here. Um, if you want to see a couple things here, uh, tell me in the chat. I'll bring them here and show you right, right now. Um, just let me know in the chat. I'll give you a, uh, couple seconds to do that. So if nobody chats, then I'm going to probably, uh, uh, pack it in here. Um, but let me know. I'll give you maybe 10 more seconds or something here. If you want, if you'd like to see a couple other future projects, I'll show you what they look like in their before states, because um, I have them right off camera here, if you'd like. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I guess we won't go into that, um, which is okay, because I got some other things to do. So appreciate you all uh, visiting. Uh, oh, okay. I saw somebody say sure. Well, just hold off. Let me go grab them.
Okay, uh, an old Mylent crane with the 10 wheeler if possible. Um, hold on. Okay, first thing I have here, um, this would be from the early 70s. It's John Deere hay baler. Um, I forget which model I, I know, but uh, it's it's in pretty much working condition. Um, even it's got the uh, it's even got the bale kicker back here, which um, there would have been little plastic bales, but I have a little block. I'll show you how that works. Let me just um, so pretend pretend this is a little plastic bale, but uh, it's got a bale kicker. Kicks it out the back. Uh, this is all steel, just little plastic parts here, but they're in great shape. Um, this was another thing I bought, which, like I said, I generally don't buy them, but I ran across this at a garage sale for five dollars. So for five dollars, I couldn't resist. But I'll kind of have to take it out, get this mechanism. It's got intricate gears in here, which you probably can't see, and they're just a little, you know, dirt and everything, because this would be pull uh, dirt, but. Somebody said, I'm going to show you, a nylon crane or, or whatever. Okay. So this, uh, now, I'm not going to be able to get this in the, completely in the shot, but, um, uh, <laughs> but uh, I have a video on restoring this. Um, so, you know, this one's finished here. Um, but, uh, you know, here, here it is. Uh, I show it completely in the video, how I went through everything. You can see the before pictures because this one was pretty rusty, too. It, it almost had no paint left on it. Um, you know, we got, I guess, over here. We can raise that up. It's got the, um, which this is going right in front of you. It's got the automatic bucket. So, um, let's see. Uh, so when it gets to the top, it'll automatically, uh, well, yeah, there we go, open, and then I can lift, lift, lift the ratcheting mechanism and lower it down and, and everything. But, uh, so yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It's got the, uh, you know, we can raise and lower the, um, raise and lower the crane here. Had to replace that. It was busted, but uh, it's a little precarious, actually. The, the spring's not very strong. I might replace that, but we can raise it up, down. We can swivel it or swing it around. Um, this is an early version. Let's see. Got the, let's see if you can see here, steering wheel, so you can steer it and everything. So, yeah. I uh, did that one up. You can see that on my website, right? Or website and YouTube channel. I got pictures to it. But if you guys like cranes, oh, and I'm not going to be able to get this one in the shot either. But, and it's, this one was mine. So I have this one here as well, a um, little bit different design, but it's all there and everything. Um, you know, raise that up. We can raise and lower the boom, but it's ugh, it doesn't pivot very good. Um, and you can see the windows are well broken and completely yellowed. So either I'm going to have to try to find replacements or make something. I don't know. I'll, you know me. If you watch my channel, I'll figure something out. Uh, where did I get the string? Um, uh, just just the craft store, and then I uh, dyed it black. <laughs> That's all I did. I know there's some people on eBay that, that sell string, but it seemed like I could buy it for pennies and just dye it black, so that's what I did. But uh, this is all here. It's just, um, you know, I'll have to remake some graphics or buy reproductions if I can. It's pretty... Um, Let's see, I'll lower this down. Um, let's see, probably can't, uh, it's probably too close to the camera, but it's really rusty right there. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't anticipate doing this, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, this, 
uh, and you know a lot of the paint's missing. This has the automatic bucket as well. So you know when when you pull it up, it does that, and then when you get to the top, it 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 trips it. Uh, you know, it hit. There's a top piece, and it it hits uh, and and uh, let's see how does it work. It uh, it uh, oh yeah, it trips it like that, and then opens it. That's pre that's a pretty common feature actually. Uh, the nylon had this. This one's from. Uh, this isn't super old. This is probably from the. This is in the 80s somewhere. So um, uh, that's one that you'll see sometime coming. So that's why you want to subscribe. Um, let's see here. Well, and uh, this one, of course. Yeah, I left a bunch of dirt. Uh, this one, of course, um, I have a video on, so you can see what it's it's like. But it's a uh, it's a little forklift, and I had to kind of remake this part. But uh, son loves this thing. It's already been played with quite a bit. So um, actually, but uh, yeah, there. That's uh, one that you can see on my YouTube channel right now. Um, Let's see, I'll show one other thing I thought I had laying around here um, that I have that'll be coming one of these days. Hold on. Let's see. Where is it? That's the thing, I've moved things around. I don't remember where everything is now. <laughs> Yeah, my forklift. Yeah. Oh, the first bit of mine. Uh, did, how did you come along to that? Uh, is it was it uh, just a recommended video? I'm um, actually you'll see in the background here. Um, here's a disc gang that'll that is going to be for a restoration on the uh, uh, disc plow that I have. Um, let's see. I guess I don't have it out here. Um, must be in, must be in the other shed. But uh, that's the one. Of course, it's it's got some dents in it. But I I uh, restored this one away a long uh, a while back. Um, my son's been playing with it. So um, and it, it, this is a um, is it a Hubley or a Slick Toys? Can't remember. Uh, anyway, it didn't. It wouldn't originally have these decals. I I. Uh, I uh, got some reproduction decals here, and uh, you know made it a farm all in. And uh, like I said, this is one he he likes uh, too. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh, from Bare Metal. Okay, Bare Metal Hot Wheels. Yeah, I watch his stuff. He does really good work. Um, I like his stuff. His he didn't inspire me to do my channel because I've been doing these restorations, not of not of toys necessarily, or not in Hot Wheels, but of toys and motorcycles and stuff. But uh, I saw him come along and found it's like neat because I had never thought about doing um, uh, toys or, or or 164 scale stuff. You know, I did, I wasn't even I wouldn't even thought about uh, doing something like that, taking them apart and doing a doing a custom kind of deal on it, but, uh, but yeah, uh, oh, one other thing here, since we're uh, chatting, one other one, and that, this is just an idea I have, um, this is a Hubley, uh, this is supposed to be a tow truck, it's, it's got a few broken pieces and things, but I'm almost thinking, because it's, it is so rough, it's, it's castings, um, I'm thinking about doing this in, as a custom because these these are actually quite plentiful on eBay in even better condition um, for not a lot of money. So I don't feel bad about maybe ruining some authenticity. Making doing like a hot rod truck out of this of some sort. I you know maybe flames and all that maybe. Um, and honestly, that bare, bare metal is kind of what got me to thinking. Well, maybe I could do do a model like this. So. You know, do some scallop flames or, or some kind of custom deal. Maybe make some side exhaust or or something. Maybe replace the wheels a little bit. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. But like I said, it that is what it is. You see, most of the paint's gone off of it. So, um, 
yeah, that's uh, something I, uh, I, I was thinking about uh, doing. I just don't know um, when I'll get to it exactly. Like I said, I got some plastic models and things I want to do. But, uh, and I might live stream those as well. So that's why you should always keep watching out, uh, watching out for some things here. But, uh, yeah, the, just doing a, say like a custom tow truck, you know, um, maybe I'll make a custom bed. I, I, you know, these, or, or do something with these. I don't know, but, uh, maybe change out the wheels. Maybe, maybe put some like, kind of like larger tires or something a little more, um, a wood bed, you know, I could do that. Get some like balsa wood or bass wood or something, and make a wood bed. That's a very good, um, it's a very good uh, idea. I had not, I had not thought of that. That's a very good idea. I'll keep that in mind. Um, you may see that in the future, just because that'd be kind of a cool thing. I'll just nip that little post off there, which is just cast in there. Um, because it's very hard to, I mean, there is a reproduction out there, but it, it's hard to find find them. They don't come up, even the reproductions, like people have to make them, uh, the hook that goes back there. So maybe, yeah, just skip skip the tow truck thing all together and just make it a total custom. I think, I, I think I'm going to do that. I have to mull that idea over a little bit. It's a good idea. See, that's why I like these interactions of the chat, um, is I get ideas from viewers like you. So that's that's another thing. If I'm talking about, hey, you can support me monetarily by that super chat, but you know what? Your support with your ideas and this dialogue back and forth um, really uh, really gives me some ideas, and that's and that's what I like. Things I never never might not have thought of. So interesting. I think I might do that. But all right. Well, I think we're about done here. Um, I need to clean some stuff up. I basically got everything polished up as much as I can, and now I need to start on the graphics. So um, that's something that um, is not easily done. Or I need to reset up my camera, and I'm not going to do that right now to, to get started on that. And I'm not going to get that finished uh, today. That'll be something I'll have to wait for maybe tomorrow night or something. You know what? Uh, Make sure you're all subscribed. You hit that bell. So just in case I fire up the old live stream tomorrow night, um, can't guarantee it, but maybe I will. Um, since some of you guys are really interested in this, maybe I will. Maybe I'll live stream more of just doing some of this stuff. A lot of times I don't have a lot to say, so I, I feel it's like really boring. So, all right. Well, appreciate you guys watching, and um, I think I'm going to cut this down and uh, we'll uh, get back to it. So until next time, uh, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks. Just got to hit stop here.